This is the final level of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, and once you jump into the Technodrome, the battle is on. So you gotta kinda watch your power. And there are two ways to go on the final level. One's a little bit longer and has more enemies, but has more pizza, and it's a little bit better of a way to go if you've got your Ninja Scrolls. The other way is better if you're on a continue, because it's a little faster, but you definitely are going to take some hits and there's not really a lot of pizza. So the first way I'll just show you is if you stocked up on your ninja scrolls and you're ready to go. So when we get to these guns that are below us, normally we would just leave them because the, uh, the shells can't come through the floor and most enemies will respawn when we leave the screen and come back. But these guns are an exception, so we want to take it out while it can't hit us. As you see, we step back up on it and it's already destroyed. Now we came down this corridor because there's going to be a full pizza, and since Michelangelo took some damage fighting the Technodrome, we're able to feed him the pizza, get him at full health. So then we're just going to want to go back to the ladder where we can go all the way up and since we have all the ninja scrolls we just want to use those liberally there's no point in trying to save them this is why we spent so much time on the last level collecting them all just want to take out everything even these little obnoxious things, since a lot of them will take two hits, just use the ninja scrolls, get them out of your way, don't take any damage. We just keep moving here. Alright, we just gotta kinda stand a little bit back. As you saw, I got shot in the foot. So we wanna be a little more careful. And we're just gonna start jumping down. A lot of times on the other side of a, a gun there's going to be some kind of power up. So we just wanted to check that side. And then we'll take out this cannon. And there's going to be uh, there's going to be another uh, quarter of a pizza in here. Unfortunately, the second astronaut guy got us. And since this isn't a full pizza... We're going to give it to Donatello who took a little damage fighting, even though Leo's very low. But we're going to be able to find another full pizza shortly, and we'll be able to give that to Leo. So we just want to take out this gun, and then we'll be able to climb down, and there's our full pizza. Kind of a little uh, more careful about how I walk, so that's why it looks all kind of jerky because it's kind of one step and then a pause and then another step and a pause just to see what's coming and so I can have a little more time to react using ninja scrolls. These astronauts are the absolute worst, and there's going to be a lot of them. Uh, coming up and I'll point it out and they're gonna cause quite the problem but after we take out the gun we're able to get our invulnerability and just be able to ride that to the next door and that'll put us in the astronaut alley now this is one of the biggest meat grinders of the game so you want to be careful now if you can you just want to avoid them and then get them off the screen as fast as possible. Uh, the faster you get them off the screen, the less likely they are to follow you. But you still want to be careful there. I've racked up a lot of damage just kind of going too fast. Like uh, I did there, and I kind of just 
Burned out Raphael way too soon. I barely used any of his Ninja Scrolls. Now this part here, if you don't get the astronauts off the screen, they'll all collect in this area and they'll follow you down this corridor and you'll have to kill them before you start going down this corridor or they will destroy you. But you just have to take out these little whirly things and then the astronaut will come at you but you don't have to fight him because he will go back off the screen as long as you just wait and you just gotta duck under the laser. Be careful not to stand up too soon. So I did that earlier and it's one of the most annoying things. And since I ran out of Ninja Scrolls with Raph, we'll go, or with, with Mike, we'll go with Don. Since he has full health and everyone else was a little more beat up. And we just do the same thing. Now if I didn't get Don some Ninja Scrolls, it would have been fine because the bow staff will take out those whirly bird things with one shot. And that'll bring us to this zone where we're going to have to fight the astronaut as a mini boss. Luckily I have plenty of ninja scrolls and we're able to take them out pretty quick. And this door will get you to the shredder. So if you just want to see uh, how to fight the shredder you can jump to 1141. Otherwise we'll show you the other way of going. Um, so I'm off of continue here and I've already lost Michelangelo on this run. So basically starts off the same. We're going to want to go down and get that pizza. Again, we'll be able to take out this gun. And since we don't have the ninja scrolls, Raph's a good choice because he's able to take out a lot of the uh, enemies with the one shot. Now, You'll notice we have a different set of enemies. Uh, when you use the continue, they will usually give you the weaker set of enemies, so it's not as important to have the ninja scrolls either when you're going uh, with this on a continue. But instead of going back to the up, we'll take the down ladder and we just have to run through these spikes and get to the ledge. Fortunately, I ran into the guys down there and so that ate up almost all of Raph's health. And we go down this ladder and the only need to come down here is if you're missing a turtle. Otherwise there's nothing down here but you go down this ladder and then we're able to find Michelangelo. Get him back. And then we just got to be careful when you're going up the ladder. Uh, the bugs are going to be flying above you there. You don't want to climb up and then hit your head on them. Now, normally I would want to stay on that ledge and attack this guy from above, but I went a little too far. But that's all right. And now. If you remember where we climbed down that ladder and got that full piece of pizza, we're right back at that location where we got here a lot faster. And unfortunately, I moved too far back and even though there was no mech, one comes up and the boomerang guy respawns and it's just kind of a nightmare. So we got to take out a couple of these guys. takes a little bit more time uh, and it's a little annoying but and then we'll switch to Don and take out this gun we don't really want to just jump down because uh, we want to get our vulnerability so we don't have to worry about fighting our way through this part of the floor every little bit helps so that brings us back to Astronaut Alley. And 
this is basically just the same as before. We just try to we want to try to wait for the guys to get a little bit higher so you can duck under them and then make a break for it. And it doesn't always work. Again, you want to get them all off the screen so they don't pile up. I've had to fight like five and six astronauts all clumped together as, as like one guy um, at the beginning of this entr entryway. And again, Don's able to take out the whirly birds, and then you just wait for the astronaut to fly himself off the screen. It's better to hit the whirly birds standing up. I know I hit a couple when I was crouched, but you can mistime it a little bit more when you're crouched down. So it's just a little safer to stand up and hit them. Again, I'm doing that awkward walk where it's a little bit of one step pause, one step pause, and so he's got the herky jerky move instead of the fluid walk. And then before going up this ladder, we're gonna switch to Mike because this is where we're gonna have to fight the astronaut as like a mini boss. And we wanna keep Don as healthy as possible to fight the shredder. All right, so we're moving on to the shredder and there's a little bit of a of a glitch in a way that you fight the shredder and you want to have Don for that so when he first comes down as lightning you want to hit him and try to knock him off this ledge now if you don't knock him off the ledge you just want to keep hitting him don't go after him like I did because one hit from his mutagen gun turns you back into the a baby turtle and then when you do knock him off the ledge you want to stay towards the back of the of this ledge here because if you get too far over he can hit you now even if you only had that one hit point you should still be able to beat him as long as you stay back farther so you want to stay back towards the edge and then when he jumps up to try to get you just knock him back and then he gets caught in this loop and that's all you got to do to beat him So once you get through this part, you'll finally get to uh, the ending. And I gotta tell you, this is probably one of the biggest letdowns of an ending I've ever seen. After this game was so hard to get this upcoming ending, it was pretty sad. But I'll just let you enjoy that without me talking over it. And that's the end. So if you like this series, please go ahead and like some of the videos in the series and think about subscribing. Other than that, we'll see you back again for our next series.